Welcome back to another episode of Last One Y Nos Vamos. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode, mi gente. My name is Margarita. You can find me on TikTok and on Instagram at your favorite Margarita. And you can find me at Ruthless Closing or Last One Y Nos Vamos as Lencho. Yes. And Kate, do you want to introduce our third co-host? The one that doesn't stop from coming in the picture. La que no se queda quieta. It's because I clapped again. But I like it. Come on, Coco. Come say hi. Come say hi to the camera. <laughs> but yes, this is Coco. She's our third co-host and she'll be chilling with us. Siéntate. Lenchito, did you hear about that officer in San Diego? He was getting cheeky cheeky with it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. I, I mean, uh, according to the officer, he wasn't. Pero, 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 pero. Accor I mean, a Coco. According to the camera. According to the camera. Well, they didn't capture any, you know, anything that happened. But um, he was be he's being, he was being investigated. Right? Was, I don't know. Well, he resigned. The reason why I'm saying like he is, he isn't, um, is because he resigned a month after the investigation. So he uh, he was being investigated for an incident that happened in August 2023, where he was I guess he got trapped behind, uh, on the the back seat of the police car, and that, there that was he forgot his keys. He forgot his keys. I guess I know. No, so he uh, so okay. So let me let me backtrack a little bit. So he had um, he had to transport a suspect that he, that was arrested due to you know whatever crime she had committed. She he put her in the back of his of his cop car and on the way there, ya casi yo creo que they were almost going to get to the um, I guess the police station to get her processed. Um, there was like, like there was a conversation going on. The biggest thing that I think that that threw this officer off or on <laughs> um, the girl said she was like I'm totally you know DTF DTF right for those of you who know Jersey Shore Google it Google whatever you uh, whatever DTF uh, means so she said I I'm totally DTF right now so the officer, this is where he starts messing up because he was like, oh, don't say that you're you can't be pretty much like you can't be saying those things you're being recorded right now. Mm -hmm. And soon enough, I guess, um, I guess somewhere along the video, like I, I think she stops talking and the, he, he he pulls into like the residential area and um, he turns off his camera. Mm -hmm. That's another thing. He turns off his camera and. 20 minutes later, he calls one of his partners or, you know, whoever is around him. He calls him, lets him know, like, hey, can you please come here? I, you know, I'm, I'll explain. Do you have your like, do you have your keys? And then the officer, the, the other officer that he's contacting, he's like, like, it's everything. OK, like, is it like, like trying to figure out like what's going on? Like, why do you need me right now? Because usually if they call each other, it's because there's like an emergency or something or they need backup. So um, what happened, like once he got there, um, like he opened it up, whatever. And then the officer, the other officer, I think he was going to let me shut this off right now. He was trying to shut something off. I don't know if he was trying to shut off his camera. But once the other officer says that, he shuts off his camera, too. So I'm like, mm, I don't know why, you know, what happened there. But yeah, he's in uh, he was in big trouble. He was. He was or is. That's what I'm like. Is he still in trouble because he's no longer with the with the with the department? But you know what this reminds me of? OK, so like after that, when they were doing the whole investigation, they recorded him like, OK, show me how everything happened. So he said that he shut off the camera. Well, I mean, he he ended up going to the back because she he thought that she was having a medical emergency. <laughs> mm. So he ended up getting trapped back there. Yeah, so that's he, how he got he trapped. the door like a dummy. Yeah. And you know what this reminds me of? Have you seen that audio or that video? I know there was a video. There was a kid that he was, he was like, I was searching the internet. I'll insert the clip. I was searching around the Amazing. internet. Oh my gosh. Okay. Listen. No, I, I, was, you're pure I was searching around the, oh, mom, geez. mom, I was searching around the internet. And all of a sudden, I, I was downloading this thing, and I got a Show computer virus. I want to see it. Show me what you were downloading. I randomly, I already Show it to I me. deleted the virus. Oh, my God, Mom. I had a computer virus, and I got scared that I had the virus. And when I was getting out of my chair, my pants were slipping, and I was pulling them up and getting back on the chair. I got scared and and my pants slipped down a little and I was pulling them up. And 
we're back. That's what that's what it reminds me of this uh, police officer story. So what do you think, Lechito? What, do you really think uh, it was an accident? Like he, she was actually having a medical emergency? No, obviously they knew what they were doing. She was having a DTF emergency. <laughs> Pretty much yeah. trying to get away with it. Yeah. And you know what? After they continued the, the investigation, they actually found semen on his like on his belt or somewhere on somewhere on his uniform. Yeah, they went that deep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no pun intended. They took, they took the black light out. <laughs> yeah, like they went. I mean, they have to, right? Because I mean, who knows? Like they have to the department has to protect themselves. Well, because they know a lawsuit's gonna be coming up. Yeah, because yeah, exactly. Because the girl and then the girl, like the girl can claim, like, oh, he did something to me, right? Mm -hmm. But I guess they ended up asking both of them, and the girl said, like, no, like nothing happened. But I'm I don't know, like what 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 happened? But did she go actually to the county jail or no? Yeah, they ended up they ended up processing her wow. wherever it is that they were supposed to. Uh, but yeah, that's some crazy stuff. I was searching the Internet <laughs> and there's a clip. That's the one that's the one that I was telling you, like he they recorded him when they were doing the, the investigation. Um, you know, he was pretty much telling them like, oh, like, you know, I was here. This happened. And so and so. So look up, look up the clip. And it's it's pretty interesting how a oh man he ended up risking his his life for just some random person he didn't risk his life he risked his career okay risk yeah risk his career right yeah his life that's pretty much his life no because life is like something's happening to his life his career is basically yes he lost his career yeah. and but now he's gonna have to probably pushing boxes or something yeah i mean I guess so. But I mean, I think it's I think I think there have been like worse things that happen that have happened in like the police departments. And all they do is just get transferred over to another department. Or you can open his OnlyFans and probably will go viral. <laughs> yes. Oh, ahorita que dices OnlyFans. They're going to contract him to do those stunts, you know, <laughs> in the back of a police car. Do you know why? <laughs> do you know why you're, do you know why I stopped you? No, well, he pretty much did the whole little Wayne. What? M I'm oh, sorry, Mrs. Officer. officer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this time he was the officer. No, what do you think? He says OnlyFans. There was another case too. I think it was in New York where the police officer stopped someone, and the person that he stopped was, you know, someone was a um no 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 mentiras. He didn't stop her. It was a skit. So the uh, police officer, he was off duty, and uh I what some OnlyFans girl asked him, like, hey, can you do this quick quick skit? But I, I they didn't show his face, but they were able to identify the police officer by his um probably his badge number or like the mm -hmm. what is it called that they could sip one in their the pins the pins it wasn't a pin the patch their patch no. so they were able to identify him and he got he got fired for that so they were doing well, a little yeah, skit with working. the only fans girl <laughs> he's working basically on the job i'm like well i mean at least he's already dipped his foot in the water his well, feet in the water well, you, well now you're talking about new york remember the portal you talked about us talked to us about uh-huh you know what happened to it what basically like the week after the video came out from us what they got shut down oh yeah mm -hmm. they shut that thing down why they shut it down well because people were being inappropriate they were using it the yeah, way that but, they had wanted but supposedly to because an only fans model was flashing oh yeah i saw that one too <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought that was the reason why they definitely shut it down. I mean, obviously, these were other videos going on. Yeah. But I think this one was like the definitely one. I don't know. That's yeah. what I assumed. I mean, people use it to their own. She used it to her own benefits. So I don't know. But that's crazy. I mean, I knew it wasn't going to last. It's It's obvious that they were going to get rid of it sooner or later. Because of, of people, we can't have nice things. Well, another thing about New York that I just recently seen, and it's something like that we should be grateful to be able to experience because I believe not everybody's going to be able to no more. Why? Uh, you know, the Twin Towers, a pool. <gasps> no, what? No, well, this is the thing. You know how we were able to get super close to it and actually look down? Yeah. Now they have a barrier. Uh, like you can't even go like you can't look down anymore. It's I'm guessing, but it's about like 20 feet. Yeah, it's fenced out. And I saw it because I don't know if you know speed. 
He's speed. a yeah. He's like a, um, he's a streamer. No, I don't know who it is. No, well, basically he was in New York and he wanted to see and one of the clips that, you know, somebody clipped. He was like, oh, I want to look inside of it. Mm -hmm. But he's like, but everything's gated out. And I'm like, dang, really? Like we were able to experience that. And, uh, you know, if you tell people they're like, oh, no, it was never like that. You weren't uh -huh. able to able to um, look inside of it. Um, uh -huh. But you remember what happened like a couple of years ago, um, somebody fell in there or well, they, they didn't jumped fall. in there. Yeah, they jumped in there. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's the, that's since then is when it's been closed. But I'm, I'm just guessing. like, I don't know. Uh, but I'm just like, why do you have to like go in there? Like, why? Know. Maybe like, he was looking maybe, for something. Maybe they weren't in the right state of mind. Maybe, I'll give them that. Maybe they weren't in the right state of mind. That's why they ended up jumping there. I don't know. Maybe he was trying to look for a conspiracy theory in there. Hmm. Probably. I guess that's something I would do. Because it's like <laughs> if you look in there, you can't tell there's a actual door. I think there's a door because I remember, I mean, just little bits of it when they took them out of there. Yeah. I think they opened like a door on the side. Yeah. Well, I mean, I suppose. It was pretty deep. Yeah. Well, I suppose there has to be a door there, mm -hmm. right? Like because if they have to do maintenance, I mean, they can rope themselves down or yeah. whatever, but it's pretty deep in there. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry about my little two stories of New York, but you mm -hmm. just reminded me of my other favorite city. I wonder if they got fined. I'm pretty sure they got fined, right? Who? The guy that jumped in there. Oh, most likely. Are you going to jail? Yeah. You did jail time. Probably. Speaking of fines. Are you done with that story? Sorry. I'm over here like yeah. speaking of fines. No, I just seen speed and it reminded me and I was like, I got to tell her about this. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad that we got to experience it though. Mm -hmm. I'm glad that we got to experience it firsthand. We got to like, you know, it's again, just going back there, just think about it, it's just a, such a como se dice, impactful moment. Mm -hmm. While well, speaking of fines, Lenchito, so you know how I used to collect uh, shells like whenever I would go to the beach because I wanted to have like the restroom like beach themed. Correct. You remember and that? You were trying to be a cheapskate? <laughs> no, because like, you know how much I love the beach. I love going to the beach. And I just wanted to, you know, have a little piece of the beach with me. That's that's why. Yeah. Pero this mom from Fresno, she was fined $88,000 for collecting clams. Can you believe that? No, and keep on picking your clam. I know. It wasn't clams. I wouldn't collect clams. I would collect shells, seashells. Yeah, Sorry. seashells. So... Um, so the clams, they usually, they, what they, people usually eat those, right? Depending. Depending. And or or clams for. Clams or oysters. Or oysters. So people collect them for, mm. you know, you she have to get She was trying to get some pearls, probably. Probably. I don't know. Well, she took her kids. So this mom, she ended up taking her kids to the beach, you know, just a, just a little day out. And her kids, you know, kids aren't going to be kids. They're going to be exploring. So their her kids decided to go out and start collecting shells or they thought they were collecting shells, but they were actually clams. Mm -hmm. So she ended up getting fined 88,000 because the kids collected 72 of them. Sheesh. 72. I'm like, dang, like, what do you guys? Cuanta por la libra. Quien sabe, but I'm like, dang, 88,000. That? So 72 por libra, 88,000, 10,000 a piece. I would just be just like, about. I'm like, I think I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> yeah. Go start collecting clams. But it's illegal. I guess it's illegal because you need to be licensed to or, or have some sort of license to um, to fish clams. What do you say? Fishing, fishing clams? I would say catching, you know? catching, yeah, catching clams mm -hmm. or however it is that, that that you say it. So yeah, she ended up getting fined eighty eight thousand, and this happened again. This happened last year, but um, just that last month she ended up having a court hearing. Yeah, it takes and, a while. Yeah, she had a court hearing, and they ended up reducing it to five hundred dollars. Um, How the hell did we go from 88 to 500? I know, because it's just like, it's a, they didn't know. They it's, didn't know that it was such a, you know, like big deal. It sounds like our government system. Yeah, it's just like me, like my dummy head. If I didn't know, you know, that you have to be licensed to go fishing. Like when you go, when people go fishing in yeah. like in Santa Monica, Pier, well, like anywhere. when the piers, I didn't know that you had to, even in um in the parks. Yes, anyway. In the parks. So you need to, my dad didn't have a license. I didn't know that. Nah, but that was, That was like know. way back then. But I do remember... Some people, when I used to go fishing when I was younger, they had some lights. Yeah. You know? So that's that's good to know. I'm like, I would have been fishing over here. I don't like fish either way. But yeah, but they reduce it. So she can uh, she either can pay the fine or she can do community service to cover that fine. Hmm. So and they asked her, I was like, and then she 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 made sure to to educate her kids like this is a shell. This is a clam. Touch. Don't touch. Well, you know, when they to Treasure Island. 
that's the, actually the island we went to you were reminding yourself oh, about oh yeah um and you know how there was like a rock but there's you know waves do go hit the rock but it's still like a little puddle of pool i don't know yeah, what you like, would really not they're not it. tadpoles i was i think i told you tadpoles the other day mm -hmm. but it's um some sort of pools i know what you're talking about yeah so there there was kids i believe collecting like um crabs well not crabs uh -huh. but shells the hermit right crabs? yeah and somebody came i think it was from the city came over and was like oh guys you cannot be collecting those yeah. put them back mm -hmm. so they got a break they caught a break yeah no they 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 did catch a break because they could they probably could have been fine because a lot of these places here like the at least in the ocean that i know they're protected mm -hmm. they're protected because they might be come see becoming extinct like the coral reefs mm -hmm. those are those are those are really uh, well taken care of and that day that going back to the the treasure island story that you said um there was even some information on the oh, i don't yeah. know if you remember yeah they, like there was papers but i mean mind you in california especially like in la there's a lot of tourism mm -hmm. so a lot of people probably don't know how to read english or you know whatever Say it is awesome. mm, i guess <laughs> i mean maybe i'll give them the benefit of the doubt you know me i'm like i'll give them the benefit of the doubt so maybe they just didn't know well enough so I mean, I'm pretty sure when somebody came up to them and they told them something, they, yeah, supieron que, yeah, they, they shouldn't. They have to, they collected like 20 or more también. I know. Damn, but hey, but the other kids from that lady collectaron 72. They're <laughs> like, ooh. Pues si eran como unos cuatro, que no? Quite the little kids. Yeah, like three or four trying kids. To, trying to be like um, Easter bunny eggs over there. <sighs> How many can here? you collect? How many? What? Oh, I know, for real. That's freaking crazy. I feel like I would have been crying, like, oh, my mom's going to go to jail. You as a little girl? I, w I think I would have. Doubt it. I would. Mm. I didn't tell you the time that I called 911 and the police actually showed up. You have not told us that no, story. No, I haven't. Oh, my gosh. Freaking kid. No. So when I was little, I ended up calling 911 and I and I hung up right away. Oh, yeah. They it just rang. trace it back. Yeah. They, and, they, and I guess they ended up tracing it back and they ended up showing up. Mm -hmm. And I saw, I heard I, I heard or I saw the police pull up and I started crying. I was like, my mom's going to go to wow. jail. Instead of I'm going to go to jail. It's my mom is going to go ah, to jail. Mirala. <laughs> but believe that believe me i never did it again i learned my lesson no i think i i done that not like i don't know if it was yeah i think it was me i think i did it and same thing like uh -huh. i hanged up mm -hmm. but they came over and we're like oh we accidentally dialed it because oh. it wouldn't even take i think like 10 just between the time frame of 10 five seconds mm -hmm. that was all they needed yeah not even 10 seconds like it's just a quick because mind you when i mm -hmm. called it was like and then i yeah. hung up why i don't know i don't know why the heck i called no well, más por curiosidad. you know like porque me pasaba a lot of the times i think why because i was trying to call 991 kgg high oh dang <laughs> and you can get fined don't, yeah. don't you yeah you can get fined for doing that mm -hmm. and i mean back then i didn't know that why you shouldn't be doing that because you know they're you're pretty it's much emergency. yeah it's only it's an emergency line so if you're calling you know maybe somebody else could have had um como se dice? somebody else was probably trying to get through and they mm -hmm. had a real emergency so kids don't do it okay <laughs> yeah i remember they were just like oh we just came and checked to make sure everything's good you know uh -huh. they just do it as well like what if somebody's in danger and mm -hmm. they had a hang up real quick yeah so they just come through and check it and they came by so quick i know that's the way to get them to, to come through guys <laughs> don't say that <laughs> don't promote that don't um, we no, don't promote just, that <laughs> and this is no promotion i'm just saying no but it's true because because like, okay, I'm not, I'm not saying like do it, but like how many times have we had to call, you know, the, the number because of something, well, I mean, was it, yeah, it was an emergency. Um, like, what was it? Somebody was um, trying to cut into the. To the train? Yeah, into the, into the, yeah, the, the train, the, the cargo, what is, mm -hmm. whatever it's called. So we're like, hey, somebody's trying to break in. Even though. Do they even come in? No. Even though they have their own police. Oh, they do. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. You don't. Do you haven't seen it? Oh no, wonder. Well, that's why. They, well, that's probably why they 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 didn't. They probably they could took report so it though to them. Yeah, at least there's a report in there. But yeah, that was crazy. But yeah, no, they do take long. They don't really come. Mm. As long again, as it's not this like is the for room. entertainment purposes. It don't don't do it, guys. <laughs> don't no. Don't this do it. This show is for entertainment purposes only. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
but that's Gilly's. I do have something to say that I didn't say it on oh, yeah. uh, your last episode or our last episode. Oh, tell me. Um, if you guys haven't seen it, go see Margarita's Row Rage. <gasps> Literally, her real rage. Hey, I wasn't raging. It was another person it's that was raging. It's a clip. It's a clip. <laughs> okay, okay. No, but um, it reminded me of my own. And I totally forgot about it. What? You remember when uh, I was going to go pick you up and I was still in work? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Well, literally there, I guess I took stuff in like not thinking well, are mm-hmm. you going to say? Mm-hmm. And um, I couldn't stop. So I literally like went through their car, right? Yeah. Like I didn't move to the side because if I would have moved to the side, me iba a dar el madrazo. So that was an intelligent of me, the way that I reacted. Just like you, you reacted a way better way. You can See? be like, toma. Pretty much like bumper car. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait, but you were, but because they ended up doing a U-turn, right? So you would have T-boned them? No, I did T-bone them. Oh, you did? Yeah. Because they were doing a U-turn, right? Yeah. That's why you ended up T-boning them? Uh-huh. Oh. But, uh, you know, even after that whole situation happened, you know, I didn't report it to the police. Not yet. I did get his information. His supposedly light. No, I, he didn't have insurance. So he gave me his information, driver license, everything. And mm-hmm. I got pictures of his uh, license plate. Yeah. But when I did the report to my insurance, I guess me, the dummy, didn't look at the license plate correctly. And I gave one of the numbers incorrect. So let's say two, three weeks, month through two, three weeks later, um, I didn't hear anything from my insurance. So I would tell them, they're like, oh, we cannot find anything. I was like, what the heck? And so I finally look again. And that's when I noticed that I had gave them the wrong license plate number oh. so after all i had to go make a report to the um, to the police station to say that oh you know i got in a car accident and this person is not responding back and then i still had to use my own insurance to pay for it because these people pretty much got have... away with it dang so imagine that i'm saying imagine if i was just dame i'm yo el madrazo and then mm-hmm. just go off like normal Damn. And he was um, cheating on his baby mama, I think. Oh, yeah. I remember you saying that <laughs> yeah, part. <laughs> because um, I, when I reported, I was like, oh, a guy was driving. So like, what? The owner is a, it's a, it's a female uh-huh. who owns it. And I was like, oh, I don't know. There was this guy in there. And there was this other girl in there. <gasps> and I, like, oop. No, well, I was like, there was just, you know, there was a female in there. But I don't think it was the actual owner. And I believe they even went to their house. <laughs> But like they weren't responding back and she didn't have insurance either. So, Dang. but ni modo, me cago el palo, yo le cagué el palo para atrás. And pues, and pues. Well, you know, karma, 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 karma mm-hmm. got them. Hopefully, got, well, hopefully, karma probably got them. Pero la, la cosa de la karma, pues sí, porque pues mi carrito era un 95. El de ellos, it was like at that time, it was at least like a 2008. So, it was way newer than mine, so era you de, know. Era del año. I don't know kind if it's here at Año, but for sure newer than mine. Yeah. And I just remember hitting them like right by the fender by the door. So they weren't able to open the driver door. Uh-huh. And mine, well, yeah, actually, you know, my whole front end. It was just but the front. It was a little Hondita. So who cannot fix Hondas back in the day? I know. And that's good. Like nothing. It was it really bad. Like was it radiator? Radiator? Okay? Yeah, yeah. No, it was like sort of bad. But, you know, I think for me, let's say it was like unos a thousand dollars or a little bit less just to fix it and get it going for them you know they probably had the new technology so it will cost them a little bit more Dang. than what i spend and a relationship oh, <laughs> yeah literally <laughs> and they pa que se les quite Oh, Lenchito, so I've been trying, like, for a while already, I haven't really been watching TV, right? I've, I've been kind of been these que la miro, but then I fall asleep. But I've been getting into into Netflix, like docu- like a documentary and series. <laughs> so I hope I was I've been telling you, like, I was like raving about this thing. It's called about this documentary um, on, on Netflix. It's called Hack Your Health, The Secrets to Your Gut. Before mm-hmm. I continue, I know I'm like going all over the place. 
if you're watching this, do not watch this while you're eating. Okay. Just, what the hell? I'll, I'm going to tell you that much right now. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you why right now. So there's this treatment called fecal microbial transplant or FMT. So, and, and the, the FDA pretty much approved it to treat only people with, they called it the C. diff or the clo, clostridium defecile. So defecile, it, it, mean, it, mean, it means to, I mean, from what I'm getting from that word, it's defecate. So this is for, for patients who I guess are suffering from uncontrollable diabetes, diarrhea. Okay, so hell? yeah, so they have the, the and they and they're testing it out on these patients, and they're trying to see that, and they're saying that uh, this treatment it has it has up to ninety percent, yeah, ninety percent cure rate. So you want to know the process? <laughs> so what the process is that they're taking the good microbes. Yes, go ahead. Sorry, but my question is, since you were kind of going all over the place, yeah. so diarrhea, right? <laughs> So people with diarrhea have issues like holding food in. People, I mean, they just have a diarrhea, like pretty much di like, I don't know if they're able to hold it in, but they just get really bad diarrhea. You know, us, we, we probably get like a stomach bug or something. We get a diarrhea for a little bit and then it goes away. But there's people who suffer from this um, chronically, you know, con con consistently. Okay. okay. So what they're doing with this test, they're taking, um, the good microbes and putting into, I mean, the good microbes from someone who is really healthy and putting them into someone who has this, you know, this issue. Mm -hmm. But guess where they're getting it from? Most likely from the poop. Oh, don't say the word. Okay, we'll say feces from somebody else's feces. They're, they're, they're taking out all the good microbes and putting it into the other people. So there's three ways that they can, um, I guess put this solution into your How body you bring this story up and get offended <laughs> with me saying poo first of all I don't don't like try, do word. not try to no not try to move on like that okay no okay so then let me tell you how how they insert it so you can take a capsule okay so you're eating shit uh -huh. the second one they can do it through a colonoscopy and then the third one they can just get like a heringa and they just or, um and they put it in there well not a heringa an enema I don't okay. know if you know what enema is. No, I do not. So an enema, it, it, you put like a warm water in a little pouch and then you just drain it inside your, you know, your behind. Your behind uh, hole. Almost like for the people that want to get drunk real quick with the uh, Well, I don't know alcohol. about that. I it's don't know about thing. that. Yeah, but we're, we're not talking about that. Well, just for an example. <laughs> yeah, sure. That's how you want to get drunk. <laughs> yeah, that's how they do it. Okay, so yeah, that's what they're doing. So they're they're doing that and what right now they're still testing it out. They're wanting to see if it's going to work for a long term or if it's just going to be for a little bit. So in the in the documentary, do you have any questions so far? <laughs> I'm going on well, and on. I already kind of asked you my question, but yeah. we kind of didn't get the answer, but it's okay. <laughs> still teach us here about eating other people's poop. Okay, so this is a this is another thing that was interesting about it. So in the documentary, they they had one person that they were testing that out on, and this person, um, they weren't able to eat a lot of things. So they they she she said that she was only able to eat like fifteen things, and what they did they uh, they call them donors, right? <clears throat> so the person, the first person that donated their good microbes was her uh, her brother. Her brother, um, he suffered from acne okay so when she got the trans the transplant or whatever it is that you want to call it she started breaking out from her face so she mm -hmm. was like nah i'm good so she asked her boyfriend her boyfriend he has um some some mental issues i'm sorry puta madre está delicada salió i know no that's a good How one worse can you get you're already pretty much eating something real bad i know and then uh her boyfriend he had mental issues like mental how would i say mental like his mental issues right maybe like depression mm. or anxiety so she started when she's when she ended up getting her boyfriend's donation mm. she started getting anxiety she started getting really bad depression and then when she stopped it and she started using her brothers her depression just almost immediately disappeared mm -hmm. excuse me pretty much the withdrawals I don't know. I don't know what to call it, but I just thought it was just side effects. Sorry, not side, side effects. effects. I was like effects. withdrawals. I'm like, mm. yeah, side effects. Okay, yeah. So that's the withdrawals were the pimples. <clears throat> 
the withdrawals were the pimples? Well, yeah, pretty much. Because got it because she got it from her brother. So it was withdrawing through the pimples. Withdrawing. I don't know. I think it's withdrawing. I, no, I, let's say side effects. I'm, let's say no, side effects. So those side effects, I just thought it was so freaking crazy how poop has so much power. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Oh, I hate that word. Blech. Um how like it affects your mind how like you know it, it's something you would think that's something completely different but you know something that's in your stomach is already is affecting your brain how like the boyfriend was having anxiety depression issues and then she was experiencing these things too and the thing is that okay so the thing when they're doing the the tra the i guess the tra the i guess transaction um what they try to do they try to pick up all of the good microbes right to put it into the to the person that is having the issues mm -hmm. but as they're doing that they said that some of the bad microbes can probably tag along too mm -hmm. and that's how you get those effects mm -hmm. but that's just that's just freaking crazy and i'm like that's why they say that it's oh, so important for you to have like a good um balanced lifestyle eat well and stuff mm -hmm. like that because all of that affects your head yeah because like Mind you, what happens, what happens, I mean, I don't know if you've noticed it, but like, let's say that you eat a really healthy, not a healthy, uh, a very uh, heavy meal, mm -hmm. carbs, oil, I mean, you know, all of that bad stuff. How Do you feel any different? That just happened the other day. I told what? you, I crashed. You crashed? Oh, we yeah. had Yoshinoya. No, not even that. Then? So pretty much I've just been trying to <laughs> remove my bad habits. Uh -huh. One for sure, like get away with soda and like stop eating a bread each day. Mm -hmm. So I started drinking a, or not eating, but drinking a gallon of water. Uh -huh. So that thing, that was the first meal that I really had real bad that I had salchipulpos, papas, and Yoshinoya. Oh, yeah. And did we have ice cream too? No, it was a cheesecake. Oh, yeah. Remember and cheesecake. cheesecake. So then we came home and the next day I wasn't going to go to work. So I was just like, whatever, right? It doesn't matter. I can go to sleep late because, you know, just in case I'm full yeah. during the night, I'm like, I can go to sleep late. But I literally still hadn't showered or anything. And I crashed for what? Five hours. Yeah. And it wasn't was like I time. was trying to go to sleep or like I was sleepy at all. Like I was tired. No, I literally crashed. Until finally it went away five hours later, then I was able to have the, the motivation or the, um, yeah, las, the motivation. las ganas basicamente mm -hmm. to go shower. Like yeah. I was able to function correctly now. Yeah. And I was like, dad, damn, I literally crashed. Mm -hmm. I never really experienced that. Well, not really, not in a while, but nothing like that for sure. Yeah, me I do. I feel, just feel like, oh, like all groggy, tired, or sometimes I even get head. Wait, sometimes I even feel like I get headaches or I just, I'm just moody. Like I'm not in a good mood that. And on top of that, I'm just like, Fuck, why did I eat that? Mm. Like, do I really need to eat that? And in, in the, in the documentary, like it, it tells you, you know, Certain foods that you eat are going to feed like your good microbes. Mm -hmm. You're going, you're constantly feeding them. Um, and so then that's going to make you feel, that's kind of going to send them a signal to your brain. Like, Hey, you're doing awesome. So something that I learned about myself, mm -hmm. uh, you need to watch it, honey. You really need to watch it. Something that I learned about myself is that I crave a lot of sweet stuff, huh? Did you say so? Yeah, I do. I do. I, I crave a lot of like junk food, sweet stuff, but that's because I've been feeding my, my gut junk food, sweet stuff. So if I'm constantly, um, craving that, mm -hmm. it means, you know, it's, it's not a good thing because that's what I, I've been getting them used to, but that's what they say. You know, it takes, you know, some time for you to like regenerate your, your, your gut or yeah. your microbes mm -hmm. so that you can, you know, start craving like the good food or whatever. And another thing that I learned about myself is that, or, or just learned but in general. you already knew that one, I think. Yes. But you just try to put it on the side all the time. No, 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 no. But here's the thing. Like, whenever I go, I, whenever I go shop, go shopping or something, I'm like, oh, that looks so good. Like, I gravitate a lot to, like, the, the sweet stuff. Just because you're a visual. I am a visual person. And another thing is that you, whenever you're trying to, like, supposedly diet, don't say that you're dieting because it's a lifestyle rather than just a diet so watch it i feel like you everybody will take something different from it and it's just crazy because they had and then they also had like three people and aside from the one that i was telling you that mm. they did the whole thing 
there was other families um well not family i guess some there was some guy from japan um he was a competitive eater um then there was an african-american girl she was trying to lose weight but she couldn't lose weight but then she learned that she wasn't able to lose weight because she had a microbe that um that i guess that's supposed to support weight loss mm -hmm. <clears throat> but she didn't have that microbe so they taught her they, they pretty much just taught them like okay you can start eating these things and stuff like that mm -hmm. so they're pretty much just experimenting on them to see if it if it works or not well i don't think it's experimenting but it's more like they're teaching them like food planning or like how, how can i say it because mm -hmm. you know when you you get that uh the lab band like they yeah. make you go through a process of knowing how to eat correctly or mm -hmm. whatever so that's how i feel that's how they're doing it as a way yeah so just just try to see okay this is working for you and this is not working mm -hmm. for you um but yeah <clears throat> again everybody's different and you just got to find out what's better for you yeah because what works for you is doesn't work for the others maybe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yorita, this is a lap band. I was just thinking because where did I hear? Um, like people that get like those procedures, like something really quick, like to lose weight really mm -hmm. quick, like the lap band or just some something that you know that that constricts your your stomach internally, that after they lose all of the weight, their mind is since because they're losing weight so fast and they're not really going through a lot of como se dice, like they're not really going through the natural process of losing weight mm -hmm. um, that they by the time that they lose all the weight, they still some of them aren't still happy because they still have them in their mind that they're still, you know, big. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, hmm. But see, that's the thing. I think it, it, it now that I think about it, because when I had lost all that weight, I still felt I still didn't feel happy. I still felt like I was big. Like I was at 150 and I felt like I was still big. And yeah, I, look, I mean, I, it's I look, just a mind situation. Yeah, uh-huh. That's why you have to be okay mentally. You have to be okay, you know. But more than anything, you just got to feel good about yourself. Yeah. And now I'm just like, <laughs> looking back at those pictures, like, girl, you were not fit. Yeah. I mean, again, it's like it's a mental game. Mm-hmm. So maybe some therapy along with losing weight would be okay. I mean, would it hurt? Um, therapy, I would say yes, but it's more like therapy for yourself. Again, finding That's out why. what makes you feel good. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, if working out, if you're going for a jog, if you eat this but instead of that, just what makes you feel good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what I struggle with. Because remember how I told you, I was like, well, the last time that I lost, like, that I lost all the weight that, <clears throat> like, I didn't feel happy. I didn't feel happy because I feel I because I was always um, starving myself, not starving, like literally starving myself. But I always felt hungry and I hate that feeling of feeling hungry. And I would drink water, drink water and, you know, eat my meals or whatever. But I feel, maybe I wasn't eating enough or taking in what I was supposed to. And it was throughout the whole thing. That is something that you lag off. Sorry to put your business out like that. But I think this is the biggest part of it is like you really have to you know, count your calories for like that. You can make yourself satisfied. Like, okay, I already ate I all my it. calories. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the other way you're just guessing. And then what if you, the next day you overeat and that's good. Sometimes you could overeat, but then, you know, the day before you didn't eat as much. Mm -hmm. So that's why for the whole week, you know, you made your calorie count and not being like, Oh, I ate too much today. Oh, I ate a little bit to a uh, little bit yesterday so like that just doing the whole weekly calorie count mm -hmm. i would think it would be a good mental strategy for you i think so too well another thing that i took from that documentary ahorita because i've seen the counting calories <clears throat> um one of the i guess experts they they said that you have to eat at least 20 to 30 vegetables per week so now I'm just like, okay, keeping that in mind, like I know I need to eat at least this many. So I'm going to divide, what is it? 20, 30 by seven. And that way I see, no se me haga tan pesado. Mm. And just including it in our, in our meals. And the thing about me is that I don't eat anything in between my breakfast and lunch. And that's something that they do um, recommend to at least like snack on like nuts and fruit. And that's how you'll be able to meet your, your vegetable fruit. But then sometimes if you eat too much fruit, it's bad because of all the sugar. Mm -hmm. If you eat too much of that, you know, it's bad. So you just need to 
Yeah, find you, gotta, you gotta find yourself. For me, the easiest way is that uh, you know I basically stop eating after seven and don't eat again until 10, 10 a.m. And then from ten to seven, that's my window to go ahead and eat. Mm -hmm. After that, I don't. Yeah. So that will works for me. Yeah. And again, I am able to do that every day except for the weekend. It makes it a little <laughs> bit harder, right? But like at least for the week, I can try and stick by that rule and. It works. And it worked for you. I, I'm telling you, you probably don't see it or probably don't feel it or whatever, but I feel like you look slimmer. You know what? The camera does add a little bit more weight to you or make you look a little bit bigger. So I'm like, it's not that I'm, bad. I'm just a little bit fluffy on camera. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Anybody can say you're fat, but for you, you could be healthy. But I'll see it, Lenchito. That's what I got for you, dude. Do you have anything else? Well, oh, just a quick little story, not a Ooh, story, but a, a story. little news that I seen a couple of days ago. Um, let's see how you feel about this one. Microplastic are defined as plastic particles smaller than five millimeters in diameter. It's almost like glitter. Mm -hmm. The best way I can put it is glitter. And I don't know if you know about the conspiracy theory about glitter. Dun, dun, but, dun. you know, I think we've touched a little bit based on that, that a lot of the things have glitter. And you know where they've been finding these little particles at? Where? You don't want to guess a little? No. Okay. And um, I think it was animals and and humans, meaning men, testicles. <gasps> Y'all have sparkly balls? Well, not sparkly balls, but at least have microplastics in there. They've Why? been finding them. How? So mostly they've been saying because like um, whatever plastic beverage like anything that's in the plastic beverage, that's oh. where it's really coming from. But then again, like the conspiracy theory about the, the glitter, supposedly there's glitter in a lot of our foods, but they're so small that we can't see them. I'm sure, like I'm telling you, like, oh, that's something that I was going to say earlier too. But like everything that we eat, any, like everything and anything, mm -hmm. like it's no longer healthy anymore. It's mm -hmm. like, like even our fruits, like who's supposed to be the, I guess the purest thing for and good for us. Yeah. Like, in a sense, it's not good because it has like all of these pesticide sprays and mm -hmm. this and get stuff that's in the air and pollution. All of that, we're consuming it. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I would believe it. I, I believe that you guys have, you know, something in yeah. your Well, testicles. it's not counting sperm counts anymore. We're counting plastics in there. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Because imagine, I mean, I could just kind of like think about it, right? I mean, what would that feeling kind of feel? Like almost like a UTI, but you, you already so used to it that you're just like, whatever now. Oh, so not everybody does. Is this is something that people have been going to the hospital for and it's they're like, oh, I'm having something that they just a... researched, like they just found out. Like they, I can't, I, again, I just glanced at yeah. it and uh, it seemed like they got like some count of people. Uh -huh. They did, I believe, animals and, and humans. And they found out that there was what plastic the in there. What the heck? See, I believe it. And they said that we have metals in our, mm. you know, in our, in our, what is it? Our, is it our body? Like, yeah. what would it be? Like our bloodstream mm. or something like that? I don't know. And see, that's what, that's probably why some, like some kids, have, um, um, they're bored with like uh, disabilities, yeah. like a stuttering disability or... <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm talking about myself. Uh, <laughs> no, but it could could happen. I'm sure. I'm sure. I mean, there's there could be other factors. There's mm -hmm. other factors as well, as far as like genetics mm -hmm. and all that fun stuff. So yeah. And you uh -huh. know, and at the same time, like a lot of the times, like I could remember one of the times, um, I believe when Puerto Rico had that whole situation about the hurricane, and you know how they got shipped a bunch of water. Yeah. But people weren't getting it because the government wasn't giving it to them or whatever. But like um, the water was sitting in the sun. Right. And mm -hmm. that's why they kind of say, like, don't drink any bottle of water that's been hitting on the sun. Yeah. And plus, do you know that the actual date that it has the expiration date is because of the plastic, not because of the water? Yeah. It, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so like a lot of us will be like, oh, like they're trying to prevent us from getting the water. But Obviously, we're looking at testicles now that have plastic. So, <laughs> again, like sometimes we overthink about a situation that can be more harmful to us. I know. Well, with the water, wouldn't it be wouldn't the water be bad already because the 
uh, the plastic that is holding it is expired already, so you can't even drink that water yeah, anyway. Th yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, That's what they're saying to try to do glass instead now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of people eat, like my mom was like that too. I'm telling my mom, my mom has always been very like health how would I say health aware mm -hmm. because she was always into like foods. She was very watchful with like the foods, even to this day, like the foods that we consumed, um, plastic, she got rid of plastic. She just does nothing. And she, she always does glass. Um, what else? But yeah, she's always been like into that stuff. She's always been very health conscious. Mm -hmm. There you go. She's always been really health conscious. Yep. So I don't know if you're about to end it, but uh, something else I heard about, you know, this whole healthy situation uh -huh. is um, somebody that can really process carbs. They call it the salt cracker method. So you put a cracker. Mm -hmm. That salt you put it in your mouth. So once it starts dissolving, if you're able to taste it from sh from salt to sugar quickly, that means you're able to go ahead and dissolve carbs quicker. <gasps> if you're not able to, it takes longer for you. Then that means that you're not a person that can process carbs quick. We have some salty crackers. Can we try that right now? Go ahead. Go get one. Go get one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. We have our crackers. We're gonna test the cereal. Our cracker. Our cracker crackers okay it's only one cracker though they're not trying to make it a feast either <laughs> okay so you said that yeah. if i may if I, as soon as i put it in my mouth if i'm able to taste the salt and um the sweet right away i'm able to dissolve no if you're able so yes you technically yes but if you're able to put the cracker in your mouth and once you put it and you're able to, from the salt if the salt's able to be processed as sugar for you as your taste bud, then that means you're able to process carbs real quick. If it takes longer for you, then that means that you're not a person that can process carbs quick enough. Okay, ready? Cheers. Go ahead, go. You go, you go. No. You go first. You go to it together. Oh. Don't bite it or anything. You're just setting it there. Mm. So it's salt. So you're, not a, so you're not a person that's able to dissolve or process carbs real quick. Damn. So you should be staying off carbs. Excuse me. Then I really can't. Let's see Lorenzo. No, that was like 20 seconds. I still mm -hmm. felt like salty. Mm. I don't know. Maybe there's a time period for it. Yeah, maybe, maybe there there's is. something that I'm uh, not telling you Missing? guys, but yeah, look into it maybe. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I'm like, comment down below. Mm. One last thing. So I heard this thing on TikTok that on that there's like that like the generic brands are manufactured by the same companies as like the big brands, right? So like the, the mm -hmm. main brands, the ones that are always on the top shelf. So I guess they're general, what is it? General, general mills. Mm -hmm. They're pretty much like the core and they just, you know, fabri they fabricate a bunch of other, other brands, whether right. it's like the general brands, like the, what is it? Great value from Walmart. Mm -hmm. They're all from the same person. The only thing that you're paying, you're just paying for the label right. for the, you're no, not the label. You, you're, you're, you're just the paying name. for the name for the brand. Mm -hmm. so next time you go shopping just buy the general brand like it's does it's not going to taste any different it's all from the same thing so but like it could your be cheerios mentally. yeah it can be it can, it can definitely be a huge mental thing because i've had like the like the what are they called the fruity pebbles mm -hmm. the the knockoff brand it tastes exactly the same to mm, me i feel like it does taste. i was a kid no, because I remember we just recently bought some like Fruit Loops. We brought like we bought a bunch of like and, and I even bought Fruity Pebbles and they taste exactly the same as the knockoff brand that I purchased previously. Yeah, because you're an adult now. But when you were a kid, you got to see physically that box because it didn't taste the same to me. And see, the thing is like it's probably perceived as like, oh, it's cheap or you're broke or whatever. But I'm just like you're paying for the same exact thing yes that's how i feel with like um they say with like name brand shoes and clothes i feel like it's the same you're paying for the same thing the same material and they're just slapping a, a brand on it you know so i just feel like it's the same thing so i just thought it was freaking interesting how they do all of that oh and you know there's this there's this theory since we're talking about cereals there's this conspiracy theory 
or maybe it's not a conspiracy theory that uh, if you notice, if you go to the grocery store, you'll notice that all of like the healthy stuff is like adult cereals. They're all the way at the top of the shelves. But like all of the fun, you know, sweet cereals, they are at um, at the <clears throat> eye kids level, at the kids eye level. Mm hmm. What do you think? Have you have you noticed that? I noticed nah, that last time. I don't time. buy cereal no more. No, we don't. But I noticed that uh, one time that I went to the store, I was like, "New mother effers." That is so true. Yeah, there always has to be a, a system, you know. Mm -hmm. Groceries, like they say, what the outskirts is like the bad food, mm -hmm. and the inskirts because people are not really gonna go in the store are uh -huh. where the healthy so-called foods are at. Man, honestly, like a lot of the things that are on the shelves are not healthy at all. If no. you really, if you really think about it, because it's because they can say um, that's something that they discussed going back to the freaking um, to the documentary. Like they tell you, like it's posted on there like it says you know it has your fiber your recommended fiber your recommended protein blah 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 but then next thing you know you look at the sugar and the sugar is super high mm -hmm. you look at the sodium and the sodium super high so it's like you just can't win a lot of the canned stuff i mean it's so bad everything that's in there i think the only thing that it's good at least you know minus the pesticides is the your fresh produce so that's where it's at. So I'm like, that's interesting. Oh, my, or my cow or my sheep and back in my yard. Yeah, <laughs> we see. That's why we need to get a we need to get a um, a house with with land so we can get some farm animals. And then we have our dogs. We have our shepherd dogs. Hmm. Oh, but yeah, guys, that's all I have for y'all. <laughs> I'm Slither now. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode with our fourth co-host. His name is Kobe, if you guys haven't met him yet. Hi, Kobe. Yeah, can your dog do that? Okay, so yeah, guys, thank you guys for so much for clicking on this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Yes, guys, don't forget to go to Spotify and Apple Music or Podcast. Don't forget to follow us there as well. And we will catch you guys on the next one. I see us. Bye.